Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Boss Souls and we are back once again with another Bulls unboxing and today we have the new Death Guard Lord of Virulence. As you can see here, he's still in the plastic wrap. Uh, I'm pretty pumped about this one just because it's a new Death Guard character and he's in some fancy Terminator armor. This of course was teased by uh, King's Workshop a couple of times. Uh, we have him here in the studio and uh, we're going to take a look in the box, so let's do it. Okay. Plastic wrap is off. Let's get in here. So it comes this, uh, it's it's not a sprue, it's a single box miniature here, as you can see. Uh, and I think it's just a single sprue. That's everything in the box. Set to this set that to the side. It's a single sprue. Oh, uh, it's a big base. This is like the uh, Centurion size base. This is not a 40 millimeter uh, space frame base. That's a much larger one. You've got the instructions as you can see. Looks pretty straightforward. Full color instructions as always. Uh, really handy if you want to know how to put stuff together. Follow the instructions. Uh, there you go. And it's got the stats in the back too, which I'll go over real quickly. Uh, move five, uh, weapon skill two, ballistic skill two plus, uh, strength four, tough five, six wounds, which is nice. Five attacks, leadership nine, two up save. Terminator armor. Uh, probably has some other saves too that we, again, not all the special rules are on here, just the stats. Uh, it's got the uh, twin um, plague spewer there, and then uh, his power fist looks pretty straightforward too. But yeah, there you go. Lord of Verlance, Verlance rules. Verlance. Let's take a look at the sprue real quick. I'm going to zoom in. There is the sprue. Pretty cool. Um, lots of detail in there. Nothing to complain about. <laughs> looks pretty good. Um, this, of course, Quite a few bits on the sprue are, uh, we're actually in a rumor engine, or a couple of different rumor engines as well, so uh, we now know that this is the uh, model from those rumor engines. And there's the other side. This, again, pretty cool model, really, uh, really good um, sculpt overall. I like it a lot. I like the new weapon, new, new and improved Plague Spewer there, so uh, cool stuff. And now with the power of editing magic, uh, we're going to show you the uh, built model. Ta da There you go. Uh, fully built. Didn't take me very long. Um, I actually built it before. Here's the sprue. It's still there. Anyway. <laughs> power of editing, right? There you go, folks. It is completely assembled, as you can see here. Um, cool model. I have no complaints here. No real tricky parts to this build either. I think the trickiest part might have been connecting the cape, because uh, it does come in two parts. This part and then this part. And... Um, just making sure that the seam was sealed correctly. I use a little bit of plastic glue, uh, which is my preferred method of, of gluing models together, plastic miniatures together, um, and it worked really well. Um, yeah, you get the little smoke launchers up top. We'll probably go in and drill those out or something. Actually, those are grenades. I think they launch out, so don't drill those out. Um, and then the, the pipes and stuff up top are really cool. But yeah, it's, it's got a lot of uh, little cool um, tubing and things that are going on there too. So... Fun little build. I liked this little bit too that connected to the power fist. So I thought that was a nice touch. But there you have it, the Lord of Virulence. Um, yeah, in the box, uh, on your tabletop, coming soon from Games Workshop. Uh, that's all I got. I'm Adam here from Bulls. Thanks for watching. <laughs>